It's Linda Cobb, and you're talking dirty with the queen of clean. Do you have dirt, stink, mess, cleaning frustration? Do you dread cleaning? If so, boy, are you in the right place. Cleaning may never be your personal joy, but I can show you how to clean smarter, not harder, and get out of the house faster. So let's jump right in and get started. It's Linda Cobb, and you are talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. On today's show, we are going to talk about holiday quick tips, holiday speed cleaning, holiday stain guides, and even some holiday hiccups. But before we get started, I want to tell you about my private Facebook group, Queen of Clean Insiders. We all talk dirty to each other on Queen of Clean Insiders. And believe me, it's a lot of fun and I have learned a ton. We share personal stories, tips, and tricks with each other. And you now have my royal invitation to join us today at Queen of Clean Insiders. Don't miss it. We honestly do have a great time. Now, let's get started with some holiday quick tips. But first of all, I want to give you a quick word of advice. On my ask at queenofclean.com, I had an interesting email from a lady who said that she decorated pine cones that she had gathered and put them in a really pretty dish. And then she heard some kind of little clicking sounds. And when she looked around, she found that she had not just pine cones in her container, but bugs too. So if you're going to collect pine cones for use, you will need to debug them before you use them because bugs find them a great gathering place. All you need to do is preheat your oven to 200 degrees, use an old baking sheet or cover one with foil, lay the pine cones in a single layer and cook them basically for 45 minutes. Now, once they cool, you can decorate with no bugs involved. Now, let's get on with some quick tips. We're going to be having people over, not only for Christmas dinner, but at various times leading up to Christmas. It's been a while since we could party. So I want to give you some quick tips when you're getting together meals for company. First, make sure that you have disposable cooking pans on hand. Now, warehouse stores sell steamer pans that equal a 9 by 13 pan. And they're very inexpensive. You can save the messy cleanup by using these and then toss them after dinner. Are you doing a buffet? If so, cook and serve in the same pan. They are wonderful for messy things like sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole, and those types of things. Make what you can ahead. I always do my mashed potatoes the day before. On serving day, I put them into my crock pot, and let them sit on low and warm, and I stir them occasionally. Now, I like to put a crock pot liner in so that when I'm done, I can throw out the liner and my crock pot is still clean. If you don't have a crock pot liner or you don't want to use them, use some nonstick cooking spray. Spray the crock pot well before you put anything in it. Now, you can prepare your gravy earlier in the day too, and then put it in a thermos to keep it hot and ready to serve. That's one less pan that you'll have on the stove. Prevent oven spills by placing a baking sheet under your dishes if they might overflow or bubble over. Think about those pies that bubble over in the oven. If you have a cooking pan with stuck on food, fill it with hot water and add a teaspoon of automatic dishwasher detergent or drop in a fabric softener sheet. Both will soften the grip of the food and allow you to dump the mess out and easily wash it. Now, be prepared for a smoking oven because if things do run over, it starts to smoke and it starts to smell. Stop it instantly by pouring a heavy coat of table salt over the mess. Smoking and smell stops instantly and later when the oven's cool, you can actually lift the mess off with a spatula. Now, have several large bottles of club soda on hand. That is the, oops, I can't believe I spilled that spotter. You can pour it on the spills and the carbonation will bubble up the spills so you can blot them up and the salts will keep them from staining. And remember, if you have a red wine spill, pour white wine on it and blot 
blot, blot, and it will be gone. You can also do the same thing with vodka. Now, let's talk about some holiday speed cleaning, because, you know, when you're having company, you're cooking, you're getting things ready, and then you still have to clean the house. So this is a quick guide so you can clean up in a hurry, or maybe somebody calls and said, love to stop over and see you were in the neighborhood. This is how you get ready. Now, this quick little guide will let you race through the house in minutes before your guests arrive. The house will smell good and not like cleaning chemicals. It will be good and fresh. First of all, the clutter basket is my best friend at the holidays. I keep a laundry basket handy. I zoom through the house with the basket, going room to room. Remove anything that doesn't go in that room and put it in the basket. Continue through the entire house and then stash that basket in a closet out of sight until later. Clutter gone, house tidy. A tidy house always looks clean. Once people are gone, Pull the basket out, run around, put stuff where it goes, and you're done. Now, this is my five-minute bathroom cleanup. Because really, where do people have the most time to privately look over your house? In the bathroom. Clean it. It's quick and easy. First, have some microfiber cloths handy. They are antimicrobial and antibacterial. Teamed up with this easy bathroom cleaner, your bathroom will shine and it will smell great. And I keep this quick fix bathroom cleaner in a spray bottle right in my bathroom. So in a spray bottle, you're going to combine one half cup of white vinegar, one half cup of inexpensive vodka, 10 drops of lavender essential oil, and 10 drops of lemon essential oil. And you're going to put in one and a half cups of water. Now you'll always shake the bottle prior to spraying. Spray all and any hard surfaces. Let it sit for about five minutes or so, and it will do the cleaning so you don't have to. Then wipe with a clean microfiber cloth. The bathroom will sparkle and it will smell great too. Now for glass, try my peppermint glass and mirror cleaner. Two cups of water, two tablespoons of white vinegar, two tablespoons of rubbing alcohol, and five to 10 drops of peppermint essential oil. Now you're gonna put it in a spray bottle and shake and spray and wipe with a microfiber cloth or paper towels. If you only make one cleaner, make this one and use it on all your hard surfaces. It's a great cleaner and it smells amazing. It just gives your house that holiday feel. Now, vacuum. Grab the vacuum and vacuum the floors where people will be. Go over the floors with the vacuum or a microfiber mop to pick up dust, lint, and pet hair. And remember, just concentrate on the rooms that people are going to be in. Relax. Once people gather, no one's going to be looking at your floors. If you have a good time, everybody else will have a good time too. I guarantee you. And your guests are going to be so happy to be at someone else's house besides theirs. They won't notice anything but what a saint you are. Now, let's talk about a holiday stain guide because these are stains that pop up frequently during the holidays. And I want to give you some quick, easy ways to remove them. One that I get, excuse me, one that I get asked frequently is how to get rid of sap stains. Now, sap stains can be treated right away or they can be cleaned up when they harden. You're going to dab them with mineral spirits or oil solvent. Let it air dry and then rub with laundry detergent before laundering. So you're going to dab it with mineral spirits or an oil solvent. Now, I think of dissolve it or goo gone is an oil solvent. Then let that dry because it's going to break it down. Then rub in laundry detergent and launder as usual. Now, check it out before you put it in the dryer in case you need to retreat it. Now, what about chocolate stains? For washable fabrics, start with a combination solvent for grease. Rinse thoroughly if the stain remains Follow up with a digestive for protein. Now, the one thing I really like for chocolate stains 
is Dissolvent Laundry Saver. This will take stains out that have even gone through your dryer. You can find it in a lot of grocery stores, and you can find it on Amazon too. And it is, again, Dissolvent Laundry Saver. And it is really a miracle. So pick some up, have it on hand for the holidays. Now, for red wine stains, First, you want to dab with some white wine or some vodka and let it sit for a minute or so. Then for both red and white wine stains, immerse them in cool water for 30 minutes. For difficult stains, you're going to blot on a solution of one half cup of hydrogen peroxide and one teaspoon of ammonia. So it's one half cup of hydrogen peroxide, one teaspoon of of ammonia. This is kind of my miracle stain remover. You want to let that stand for two to three hours on the fabric and then launder as usual. If you're using it on carpet, you're going to blot first with a damp cloth and then blot well with a pad of paper towels to absorb all that moisture that you can. Now let's talk about gravy, butter, and salad dressings on fabrics, whether it be your clothes or a tablecloth. If the oops happen during dinner on table linen, simply cover the problem with baking soda or cornstarch to absorb. Prior to laundering, treat with my miracle spotter. Combine two parts hydrogen peroxide, one part Dawn Ultra Dish Soap, spritz on the spot, work it in, let it sit for 30 minutes, and launder as usual. You can use this on all laundry stains. Excuse me, a little allergy situation going on here for the queen today. Now, the other thing you can use on these kind of stains for gravy, butter, or salad dressing is the Dissolve It Laundry Saver. It works great. Now, Spot Shot Instant Carpet Stain Remover also is a great laundry spotter. So if you have that on hand for spotting carpets, you can use that on your clothes too as a spotter. It does a great job. Now, how do you get rid of tea and coffee stains? Well, first, flush the spot with lemon juice to remove the color. Then diluted bleach if necessary. If tea or coffee contains sugar, follow up with a flush of water. If it contains milk, follow up with a combination solvent. So if it contains milk and you've got that coffee stain, you can use your laundry saver by Dissolve It, or you could try the Spot Shot Instant Carpet Stain Remover. Now let's talk about cranberry sauce and apple cider stains, because you know, we all dribble some cranberry sauce at the holidays at some point. So first of all, we're gonna flush that stain with cool water. You will mix one tablespoon of white vinegar, one half teaspoon of liquid laundry detergent, and one quart of cool water. Soak it in this solution for 15 minutes, whether it's on your table linens, napkins, your clothes, or whatever. Then you're going to rinse with water. If the stain remains, sponge the stain with rubbing alcohol and rinse thoroughly. Then launder using chlorine bleach if it's safe for the fabric. Otherwise, use non-chlorine bleach. So again, you're going to mix one tablespoon of white vinegar and one half teaspoon of laundry detergent in one quart of cool water. And you'll allow that fabric to soak in there for 15 minutes. Then you'll rinse it out. And if the stain remains, you'll sponge it with rubbing alcohol and rinse thoroughly and then launder as usual. Now, I want to talk to you about some holiday hiccups. Heavier than normal traffic the last couple of months has left the wood floors looking pretty scuffed up. How do you clean it up? Brew up a pot of really strong black tea. Let it come to room temperature and then wring out your mop or your cloth in it and wash the floors. Tannic acid is so great for wood floors. Holiday hiccup. You hauled in the Christmas tree and found sticky sap residue on the carpet. Here's the cleanup. Mix a solution of 50% warm water and 50% glycerin. Apply it to the sap. Let it sit so that it dissolves that sap. Then, using an old rag, pull up on the fibers that have sap on them. This will remove that. Then follow up with your favorite carpet spotter. And as you know, I like Spot Shot Instant Carpet Stain Remover, and I don't get paid to say that. I just really like it. 
Now, here's another holiday hiccup. There's coffee stains inside my beautiful white china cups. What can I do? Simple. Moisten the cup with lemon juice and then rub it with salt and the stain will disappear. You can use that in any mug or cup you have that has any kind of coffee or tea stains in it. You can even use it in thermoses. Uh, Holiday hiccup. Some kids that came over to visit with their parents were doodling at the kitchen table. Unfortunately, they doodled on the kitchen table with a Sharpie marker. What do you do? The cleanup is rub the mark firmly with a $1 bill. Again, rub that mark firmly with a $1 bill. Many times that will remove the marker. If it doesn't, try lemon oil and some very fine steel wool. You work in the direction of the grain and be careful because marker can penetrate and stain. If it's done that, then you're going to have refinishing required. But, you know, I I worked with an anchor at Channel 3, and she had triplets. And they took a Sharpie, and they wrote all over her cherry cabinets. And she was beside herself. And I told her about the dollar bill. And I'll be honest with you, it cost her a few bucks because she went through more than one dollar bill. But it took off every last bit of that Sharpie marker that those kids had colored all over those faces of those cupboards. So don't be afraid to try it. I know it sounds weird, but it really works. And let's talk about one last holiday hiccup. There's greasy fingerprints on the dining room wallpaper. There's dirt on the wallpaper. What in the world do you do to clean that? You're going to pick up a soot and dirt removal sponge at the home store or on Amazon. You'll use it dry and it will erase the soiling and marks from the walls and the wallpaper. It will not damage it at all. If a spot remains, make a paste of cornstarch and water and apply to the spot. And I just pat it on and then you're going to let it dry, then vacuum it off. And hopefully that will have removed that mark. It's an easy way to clean wallpaper. And again, that is a soot and dirt removal sponge. And for the products that I've mentioned to you today, like the Dissolve It Laundry Saver and things like that, I will put some links in the comments so that you can at least look at that and see what you're looking for, or you can pick it up at the store that it's linked to. Now, one last thing. The cat had a hairball. The turkey didn't agree with the dog. Oh my gosh. Well, normally you run screaming from the room, at least I do, and try to call my husband to clean it. But this is the best way to clean it up. Don't mess with it when it's fresh. Sprinkle with a heavy coat of baking soda. Cover it really well. Let it absorb the moisture. Then you can scoop or vacuum it up. The baking soda will neutralize the acids and help prevent stains. And it's so much easier to remove when it's dry like that. Then follow up with your favorite laundry spotter, or you can use my queen's cleaner, which is one half cup hydrogen peroxide with one teaspoon of ammonia added to it. Now, if you've got some questions that you'd like me to answer and talk about on the podcast, go to ask at queenofclean.com. That's ask at queenofclean.com. And I hope I've given you some quick and easy tips that will get you through this holiday season with ease so that you can enjoy it. So until next time, thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. Queen of Clean.